Hi, I'm Dan Rodriguez here in Barcelona at MWC, and I'm here with Phil Catron, SVP and GM for HP. Thanks, Dan. Glad to be here. Great to have you. So we have a really long history of working together on a lot of great things, including driving network function virtualization that first started in the wireless core. And as we worked on this journey, we've been seeing some challenges. Operators are still migrating from fixed function appliances to more open, disaggregated solutions, and they have to really manage that operation complexity. In addition to this, we all know what's going, around, going on in the world. There's a lot of sustainability efforts, which are critical, and operators are really trying to hit their sustainability goals, as well as drive down energy, energy bills to really help with their overall TCO. So are you seeing some of the same challenges from your vantage point? Thanks, Dan. We are, and I think we have to step back a little bit and think about what happened just years ago when we started thinking about network function virtualization. It was a theory then, it's, it's active and real and deployed everywhere. I would say that maybe all of the vendors coming into the network were a little bit challenging, but now we've seen it all harmonizing and that virtualization in the core has made removing a monolithic system to a more open, now driven by x86, Intel-based technologies pervasively throughout the market. It's given operators the tremendous flexibility to add applications, scale applications for any, uh, any environment for any workload. So I'll say this, when it comes to energy efficiency, it is a contemporary topic, of course. But I think this, it's not just about the environment, it's about reducing their cost so that they can monetize that network. So even reducing power in the core network, not just at the radio, but at the core is fundamental because that's where the broadest deployment of servers occur. Lowering cost, making it sustainable is now relevant to all the enterprises and you know, consumers as well. I mean, I'm willing to go off and go to a company and buy something commercially that I think is a more responsible, environmentally friendly company. So I think it's very important today. Absolutely, I can't agree with you more. So in addition to partnering on the core network side, we've also had a long history of driving innovations into the RAN. And you know, about a decade ago, we started having conversations about how we can drive the same sort of scale, agility, and broader TCO savings that we're doing in the core with NFE into the world of radio access networks with VRAN. And at Intel, we've been innovating on, on, on our silicon, making the silicon highly programmable, but efficient for the RAN workload. And we've also been partnering with HP. Could you maybe just share your thoughts on where we're at with oh, yeah. virtualized RAN? Absolutely, so I appreciate that question. It's it. And while, I, while we've made a huge business in the core side, nine years ago, Dan and I, across the street, in, a, a, in an office complex, in a room, we were visionary. We were sitting down talking about what would open RAN look like for a server node. And that's when we started architecting it. And now, nine years later, we have the largest deployments of Open RAN VRAN with a major tier one operator using three generations of Intel processors from Cascade Lake to Ice Lake and now Sapphire Rapids, all within one ecosystem. That was visionary. We architected the first server together and now we're on a multiple generations afterwards. And now we just have the, the pleasure to announce that we've won in, uh, TELUS together with Intel. And this is a really important one because TELUS will be the first operator to use the full value of Sapphire Rapids EE with VRAN Boost. So we're excited about that too. And that's a great win together. But when I think about VRAN and Open RAN. The compelling point is, again, what I said in core, we're moving away from monolithic systems, we're moving away from appliances, making the network more open, making the appliance now, not an appliance, but an open server, where when you think about generations from 5G to even 6G, the concept is eventually you get to the point where you don't have to swap out all of your infrastructure, it's a software change. And yes, you'll keep your, your servers and your infrastructure updated when you need to, but not forced to based on a generation transition. That absolutely provides a lower TCO to the operators. It's excellent for the environment and it's excellent for lowering the TCO to deliver and monetize that network. Absolutely, Phil. And what you just said last is at the heart of our innovation strategy and how we deliver products at Intel. Essentially, we continue to innovate both in new instructions, in acceleration complex, to allow our customers to easily migrate from one platform to the next platform and have that software portability. And we are at it again, we're innovating and we're introducing our next generation Xeon platform called Granite Rapids D. 
as well as our Sierra Forest platforms. The first one, Grand Rapids D, targeting VRAN and other network workloads. Sierra Forest is gonna be a great product for the, for the 5G core, and I'm so excited that HP is partnering with us on those platforms as well. Yeah, so we're excited too. And when I think forward now, I mean, it's forward looking statements now, I wanna be careful, but Dan, I mean, you've got some amazing technologies coming out from Intel. When I think about Granite Rapids D, it's an exciting to see how much technology is gonna be packed into an SOC. So more to come on that. And then when I think about Sierra Forest, wow, the number of cores and the, and the power efficiency coming is going to be a, a really great for the market, great for the environment, and we're looking forward to partnering with you and Intel team as we go forward. Thanks a lot for joining me today, Phil. I appreciate the partnership and I look forward to Absolutely. the journey. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you.